We all know about the, the Newtonian gravity, which can explain a wide range of phenomena like the the sun attracting the earth and which cause it to revolve around it and the meteor shower caused by the gravitational force of attraction but is gravity truly a force let's see an experiment um, imagine an earth and an elevator and a person uh, which can make some experimental observation and a pendulum hanging from the roof so he can make an observation of the time period so let's say the time period to be one second and let's now accelerate this this rocket using an engine so because the pendulum is still oscillating the time period will still be one second so the two situations are equivalent being in a gravitational field and in uniformly accelerated frame is equivalent so let's now turn off the engine and the person starts to float now let's make it free fall towards the surface of the earth now we see that the person is still floating so we see that the acceleration and gravity are equivalent now let's review some special theory of relativity published in 1905 so which says that the speed of light is a constant irrespective of the observer and the second is that all inertial frames are equivalent but how do we include gravity in the special theory of relativity that's the big question we know that for a small region of space-time the free fall frames are inertial so special relativity could work in that region of space-time so free fall frames it can work but the true nature of gravity is the deviation of these inertial frames so using this idea Einstein concluded his general theory of relativity